Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you how I installed a platinum blonde wig with black roots on my friend Hershey. So we have the foundation here. I just did, I think I did like eight braids going straight back. Of course, detangled her hair and oiled it very well and just combed it out so the braids could be nice and flat. So that's what you're seeing here. So for this install, I'm not doing the bald cap method. I just didn't want to be bothered because the cap is more likely to rip doing that. So yeah, I just skipped all that in case you're wondering why I'm not doing that. I did use some freeze spray on the cap though. So I'm just putting the wig on on top of here just for fit to see how it's looking with the cap, how it is. I just wanted to make sure you couldn't see that um, that line on the cap where like the edging is and you couldn't see it so it worked out fine uh, just a little backstory I've already bleached the knots on this wig and I also did a wash with a purple shampoo on that wig to get any golden tones out I am applying the glue I did glue right around just her edges because keep in mind her, she has a small forehead, so I just did it like right in front of her edges. And then also a little bit on top of that cap as well for extra security. And I let that dry. I did maybe two layers of glue, but I didn't do as much glue this time because I did not know if she would like this install. It's very different for her. I am placing the wig down for her. I'm just kind of pressing it in with my fingers. I do have a comb I'm going to use later on in the video, but my hands are of course clean. I have my alcohol nearby and my um, hand towel so I can make sure you know I keep my hands clean and there's not like a bunch of gunk building up on my hands. So I'm just smoothing it out and pressing it down. This is actually um, a different look for Hershey because generally she does the longer hair. Um, I've seen her do like, I've seen her do some blonde, but typically I've seen her do like honey blonde. But this was all around new for her because it was a bob. It is platinum blonde. And I mean, it was just a new look for her. She, I've never seen her wear a hair color this light. So I was, I didn't know if she would like it off that because I know it's hard to adjust to a new color like that. Uh, so I didn't want to do one of those installs that last for three weeks because I did. I was like, I don't know if she's going to want to wear it for three weeks in case she doesn't like it. So what I did was I cut the lace off camera. Um, I did not cut as close to the hair as possible because I wanted to do that on her head since she is not doing baby hairs for this look. So what I'm doing here is I am using that hand towel and I'm making sure none of the hair is stuck down in the glue. And if it is, I am just gently rubbing it to get it out of that glue and then combing it back. And I'm going along with the scissors and trimming the lace off as close to a hairline as possible. When you're not doing baby hairs, you have no leeway to cover up lace. There's nothing to cover up the lace. So you want to make sure that your lace is either super transparent where people cannot see it or that you have a really good powder that's going to blend it into your skin. And in combination with that, you need to cut the lace as close to the hairline as possible. So that's what you see me doing here. Please be careful, especially on yourself, when you're cutting the lace on your actual skin, because sometimes the scissors, like when they're so close to your skin and you're cutting the lace, you can actually cut your skin by accident. Fortunately, Hershey did not get any cuts, but I've cut myself before cutting the lace on my skin and I don't even know how but somehow the blade gave me a cut so be very careful guys if you're gonna do it that way um, this is definitely to me key if you are not going to do baby hairs I am trimming by the ear tabs um, so what I'm doing is I'm cutting out some space for her ears to stick through because the wig was just a little too big in that area so I just needed to cut around it so that she wouldn't have that lace bunching up behind her ear and she wouldn't have to like either tuck her ear under the wig or have to bunch the lace up just for a more comfortable fit. I just trimmed that for her. 
And pretty much during this time, you will just see me going through and wiping up any excess glue that I'm seeing. And the glue is still completely drying. I think it takes, to me, it takes, I think the glue takes about two hours to actually set completely. Like the bold hold or the ghost bond. And this time we're actually using bold hold. Let me add that in. We are using the bold hold glue. Uh, previously we used ghost bond, but she purchased the bold hold, the most expensive one. I think it was like $27. So I'll definitely get some feedback from her on that to see how is it holding up? Is it lifting for her? So this lace is not, to me, super transparent. Um, it's not the worst lace, but I think a tint or some type of powder would be nice. Hershey did not have her um, foundation or powder with her this time. So um, we may do. Of course, she can always add some powder on top if she wanted to um, after the install, but you guys will see at the end that it turned out really nicely um, because we cut super close to her hairline. And by the time, you know, we we cut super close to the hairline, everything, it looked really good. So if you are a brown skin girl, dark skin, chocolate, I really recommend the brown cap. It helps save so many steps. As far as having to buy the lighter color cap and then apply the foundation and even apply foundation or tint to the actual lace, depending on your lace. If you have like a really transparent lace, you can buy that brown cap and you can put that on your head and, and sit that wig right on top and it turns out perfectly. That brown cap is so nice on Hershey's skin. It blends in so well. So I love that. I told her don't even buy the other cap anymore because we don't have to use up all your foundation. If the lace actually needs some foundation, we can apply it directly to the lace, but we don't have to put foundation on top of a cap and then put it on top of the lace too. So definitely recommend that. I am still taking my time going through trimming the lace as close as possible. And just to give you an idea of how long that took, it probably took me about 15 minutes to go through and trim the lace as close as possible. Another good way to do this would be with a, a straight razor. Of course, you cannot do that on somebody's head. I mean, you can if you want. I wouldn't recommend it. Um, if I were going to do it like that, I would probably do it on like a mannequin head and, and cut really close with it. Um, but otherwise, since you're cutting it on her head and or on your own head or whatever, you're going to use some scissors and just take your time and clean up as you go. So after I trimmed it up to that point, I went through and took the edge of my comb and I pressed the lace into the glue to secure it even more. And I'm doing that because I went through here and I cleaned up her hairline with alcohol. I've lifted some of the lace to trim it. So it has lifted a little bit possibly, it needs to be reinforced. And I actually have a chopstick that I'm using, a wooden chopstick. 
and I'm going through and I'm just tapping in little specks of glue um, I didn't want to put big chunks of it you don't want to put big chunks I just put like a little dab of glue on the back of my hand and then I dip the chopstick into it just lightly and then wherever I saw that it needs to be reinforced or I saw it was lifting a little I just went and tapped it lightly on there So here is after the glue is dried, that additional glue I put on to reinforce. And you see it dried clear. So I was very happy about that. And the lace is not showing through. It's actually pretty transparent at this point. I am cutting her um, sideburns now and kind of trimming them down because I didn't want them to be super long or weird looking. So I just went and thinned them through some and then cut them down to like a reasonable like length. And I just used the edge of my scissors to do that. Um, I pushed whatever hair out the way that wasn't gonna be included in the sideburn. Don't be afraid to cut the sideburns down short. They will look more natural that way, in my opinion. So I know some people, they don't want to cut too much, but don't be scared. And I'm putting some extra glue in that area that I parted off for the sideburns. I like to put some extra glue in between there and then separate that hair and leave it like that so it can dry. Because the main areas that are going to start lifting on your lace first is your sideburn area. For me anyways, I can't speak for everybody. But I know for me and for Hershey, our experience has been that our sideburns are the first to always lift. So, I mean, it's okay to apply a little extra glue. You just want to make sure as you're going that you are letting the glue dry as you go. Because if you just keep applying layer after layer and not letting it dry, it's not going to be clear. It's going to be a gummy, grayish, white looking clump. So just make sure you apply it thin and let it get clear. So you'll just see me cutting down her sideburns. And I will also let those extra layers of glue dry. Okay, so here is the end result. I did a side part initially for this, but I want you guys to see how good this looks even without baby hair. You don't have to have baby hairs on your lace wig and it can still look natural. And I actually saw a few spots that were a little light, so I added some powder, but I didn't quite like how that powder looked. It wasn't exactly Hershey's color, you see there. It's not the right color, it doesn't blend in with her. So I went back in and I just cleaned that up with some alcohol because I would prefer if she's going to put some powder that she apply a color perfect for her skin tone. This is how the actual hair is looking though. It looks like it's growing out of her scalp. I love how it turned out. I went ahead and I went through and I cleaned up that powder that I applied because I would just prefer we use the correct color. The color I had was, I think, a little too light for her. So it wasn't a good fit. Um, I just want to show you guys what will happen if you apply the wrong powder. But here it is after I cleaned up that powder. She actually wanted a middle part. So that's what we did. We did a middle part, and she wanted her hair crimped. So that's how that turned out. I thought it was so pretty. And she actually liked it. Initially, when she saw it, I think it was a little overwhelming because the color and then the crimps, but she liked it. But as she wore it, it grew on her more and more. And I think it's like her favorite wig now. So I'm really happy about how it turned out. She 
grew to love the crimps. So yeah, this is her install. No baby hairs on a small forehead. And I just love how that looks on her. Keep in mind, this is no powder. Because I didn't have her color, guys. So it just turned out great. I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you guys so much for your support.